Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a pretty quick video for you. I wanted to show you some silicone straps that I found on AliExpress that um, resemble in almost every way, shape, and form the Barton silicone watch bands. I've tried both brands, but the issue I'd run into is I buy the these bands. Um, I'll let you guess which ones are the Barton ones and which ones are the knockoffs. But I'd buy these bands and they'd break in six or eight, six or eight months. Generally, they would break right around here, right? Where the two silicone pieces are molded together. And, you know, I thought to myself, do I really need to pay $25 for a band that is kind of like a disposable item? Um, they can't cost that much. <clears throat> and so one day I was browsing on AliExpress and I found a knockoff. I, I found, and, and spoiler alert, most of these are the knockoffs. Most of these are Samco watch bands. Now, let I me, mean, if you look at both, let me look at this. It looks like it's the same product. Now, there's a couple of different theories. So this one says, design in Germany. Obviously, this is a Chinese translation. Design in Germany assembled in China, all rights reserved. These designed in Texas and designed in Austin, Texas, assembled in China. Okay, so they're both made in China. A couple of different theories. One, this could be a, a knockoff. Just a just plagiarized, um, just a copy of Barton watch bands. Another option is that they both have the same supplier. They both are manufactured in the same fa in the same factory, but Barton, for whatever reason, may not own the molds to their own product. Um, they they contract out their product to be made at a factory, but the factory in China actually owns the molds which means that they can sub they can contract out they can accept other contracts from other companies like Samco uh, to make basically the same product Samco can I mean uh, Barton may reserve the top 20% in, in terms of QC or they may have higher QC standards I know a little bit of this stuff I used to work for uh, a plastic cooler company called Manta Coolers that made plastic roto molded coolers and uh, stainless steel tumblers and we made our product in China that might be what's going on here um, I think it's probably more likely that it Samco is just a Chinese clone of a US based company like Barton who is nevertheless choosing to make their company in China but I have to tell you I mean it's almost an exact ide exactly identical product so here you have a Barton watch band on this side and a Samco watch band on the other side so Barton usually ships you with a short and a long uh, version of their bands. This is the short band. I usually only use the short band because skinny wrist. And the Samco band only comes with the long version. Okay, but they look almost exactly identical. You can see that. And if you look at the other side here, I bought the gunmetal gray version from Barton directly because that's the only one they had in stock in this color and size. But you can see that there's an attempt to be the exact same thing, but it, it, it looks about the same quality. Maybe the Barton, let's see if I can zoom in, maybe the Barton is a little bit slicker. It's not quite as sticky, so it attracts slightly less dust, but that's about it. I mean, you can see the attachment points for the, for the silicone are the same. And, you know, that's about it. This is a two-tone, but, I mean, if you look over here, Samco does two-tone as well. 
Right, this is the same code band. And here they're doing two-tone. So these look phenomenal. The buckles, so here, here's a Barton buckle. Here's a Samco buckle. They look exactly the same. Which is why it's possible they're made in the same factory. It could be that they're just using the same suppliers. I don't know. At the end of the day, I just evaluate the product in front of me. And here are the bands on some watches. So this is a Christopher Ward C60, I think, Aquitaine. It has 22 millimeter lug width, and this is on a Samco band. And I think it looks really good. Uh, this is a more formal watch. It doesn't it doesn't look as at home on a silicone band, but it's a way to take a more formal looking desk diver and make it um, more casual. And it looks great. Now, here's the kicker. These bands on AliExpress, they're about $4. You get one for 30 cents. I think that's like an intro price. You get one for 30 cents and then the next one is $3 or $4. And they have a lot of colors. They have 18, 20, and 22 millimeter lug widths. It's a bummer they don't have 19 because I just got this watch. Review coming, I promise, I promise. This is the uh, Seiko Laurel Alpinist Mystic Forest Limited Edition. One of my, just a really cool watch. But it's 19 millimeter lug width, so I can't can't wear it on one of these bands. Not that I would, I generally put it on one of these straps or the bracelet, because the bracelet is pretty cool. Here's 20 millimeter lug widths on a Fairer Resolute three-hander, and it's great. I've been using these for about eight weeks, and I, I really delayed putting out this review because I wanted to make sure these weren't trash. So I wore them out. I mean, I, this, this actual watch, my oldest son has made a cameo in, in the review of this watch, which you can check out on my YouTube channel. This is the Islander uh, Mint Green, I call it the Watermelon Waffle Dial Islander watch. And I gave this watch, I let Calvin, who's four, wear this watch with this band, thinking, maybe even hoping, that he would beat it to hell because I wanted to test this band and he did. He, you know, going outside, playing with it, wearing it in the bathtub, wearing it to sleep, just taking it everywhere, beating it up. And I just washed it up a little bit. It still hasn't broken. So they're not trash. Are they as good quality as Barton? I don't know, but it seems like they are. It seems like it's the same quality same colors, same product, just pay $4 for them. Don't pay $25 for these things. This is a Barton band. I, I bought and sold a Islander Seafoam Diver, which I bought it and sold it. Not to, I didn't buy it to flip it, but I bought it and then I was trying to consolidate the collection, so I decided to sell it before I could do a review of it, and I sold the Samco version of this band. I'll put some B-roll in. I, I took an earlier take of this video, and the, odd, the, the video didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But uh, the white is not quite the same color, so this is a very um, opaque white, meaning it's not very see-through. It's hard to see through to the black. The Samco version is a little bit more translucent. Not that you're seeing the black on the underside, but it just is a little less matte and a little more shiny. Um, this one is pretty matte, so sometimes it doesn't matter. This one looks exactly like a Barton watch band, but sometimes it doesn't. So this is a Barton. Sorry if you're getting confused. This is the Barton band. The white version, the Samco version of this band, the white one, is not quite as good as this. But when you put it on the watch, you really can't tell the difference. You might even think that the Samco version looks better because, whoops, I forgot to put the crown in, because um, it's more white. This is a warm white, as you can see. Now, I have a warm lamp coming from there. See if it changes anything. 
Eh, maybe it changes the color temp a little bit, but it's really hard to tell the difference. So for your reference, for those keeping track, these are Samco bands. This is Sam the, all three of these are Samco bands. This is a Barton band. This is a Samco band. This is a Barton band. There, I mean, you can't tell the difference. They're they're both really good. They last a long time. They look great. Go buy them online for four bucks. All right, that's all I got for you. Review of this watch coming up soon. I've got some other content in the pipeline. I just am going through a pretty tough season at uh, at work, and so I may have to wait until spring break before I get some breathing room to do a really, to, you know, to do a proper review of say this watch. Um, but yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to see a review of this watch, review of another Christopher Ward watch that I managed to snag on eBay for an absolute song. It's a limited edition C63. Is it a 63? Yeah, Sealander that had been going on eBay for above retail, and I managed to get it under retail. I'll, sh I'll tell you the story when I give a review of the watch. Um, but... I do have other reviews of straps coming up, so reviews of this this company, cheapestnatostraps.com, cnsstraps.com. They have a lot of really nice seatbelt straps, single pass, adjustable straps. So if they're too short for you or too long or you just can't quite hit the right marker, you can lengthen it by a teeny tiny amount by just moving this and then it changes this. And they're really nice straps. Um, and these are about five or six dollars. They're not very much. I'm also gonna do a review of leather straps. Um, my wife uh, came in my office one day, so quick behind the scenes here. There's the library and there's a bunch of straps. There's a bunch of straps. I own a hundred or so straps of varying qualities and all that so um i'll do a review of leather i'll do a review of the nylon straps and this is the review of the silicone straps let me know if you've ever bought the samco straps what you think of them if you've bought the barton straps what you think of them and uh, if you have any other recommendations for silicone and or rubber watch straps uh, down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.